I didn't create this channel with the idea of being educational. My intention was to be uh, entertaining, like my own personal little Bob Ross channel. I was probably, I don't know, 15, 14 when I first watched it. And I didn't have the tools to make that kind of stuff, but I, I loved watching the show and I did learn from it. And I hope you learned from me too. I eventually went to the university and uh, took courses in drawing and painting and whatnot. And I consider anything you see on here to be university, university level instruction. Um, I don't do the paint by the numbers type stuff here. You just have to observe what I do. But if you want to learn by observation, this is the place to be. And I would definitely suggest binge watching a lot of my different videos because I do drawing, uh, I do acrylic painting, I do watercolors, um, ink, all kinds of stuff. Um, so if that's what you want to learn, you're in the right place. And it's not going to cost you a dime. So uh, if you're if you're here, to learn something, that's fantastic. But my intention was just to have a fun place to go to watch somebody else. One of my favorite YouTubers is called BM Sculptures. This guy makes incredible epoxy and wood sculptures of all kinds of things. I would never in a million years do what he does. I just wouldn't because I don't have the tools or the desire or time to do it. But it's very entertaining to see this guy take chunks of wood and make a bear out of it or a fish or whatnot, and it's very entertaining. So if you're in at this just for the entertainment, you know, like I said, uh, I'm gonna put a link at the end of this that links to my best of my best. I do pencils, I do pens, inks, marker pens, watercolors, acrylics, and a lot of it is in this style. Um, I hope that doesn't turn you off. Don't worry about my style, because if you wanna learn how to paint or any of that stuff, uh, the style's not gonna matter because the the, Techniques I use are universal. If you what you want to do is um, flowers and landscapes, that's fine. Um, I'm going to add a video at the end of this. It's one of my best uh, ink washes, and it's very entertaining. And you, if you want to learn how to draw and do ink wash, you'll learn something. Ready? If you made it past the intro, let's get on with the actual drawing here. I have a xenomorph that I stole from the internet because I steal most of my stuff from the internet these days because it's just easier to do it that way. Uh, to me, the art is in the changing of the process and, and making it my own, uh, the creativity, the imagination that goes into making the artwork. So I took this original picture and I'm adding all kinds of things to it that was not on the original, which makes it fun. That's why I do art because it's fun. I'm adding all kinds of little tubes, little knobs, little lines, all kinds of little hash marks. All kinds of fun things. So I'm using my 8B as in boy pencil here because it kind of looks like ink. Um, I've been practicing using my ink with my um, actual brushes, but it's still a tricky thing. It takes a lot of practice. And if you follow my page, and you're probably not uh, a regular subscriber, which you should be, um, you know I advocate for practice. Lots and lots and lots of practice. Um, why do you need to practice? Because if you don't practice, you're going to suck at this. And if you suck at this, nobody's going to want to look at your stuff. You know, people say nice things to you, and your grandma will want a copy of it, but um, that's your grandma. But, but then I shouldn't complain because nobody ever asks me for this stuff either. Well, that's not true. There's a couple of guys who like my stuff, and I plan to have one of them over here one day to do a, like a mini little podcast to talk about artwork. But I'm doing a xenomorph, and if you've noticed my page, I do lots of these, lots and lots of xenomorphs. And why do I do them? Because they're cool. And I only do cool stuff on this page. I don't do flowers. I don't do sunsets. I don't do puppy dogs. I don't do boring things. I only do things that will bite your arm off and rip it off and eat it. And that's true. I do sharks, I do monsters, and I do aliens. And there's a new alien movie coming out. And I'm not doing this just because of that movie. I'm doing it because it's cool. I, I just did a, a, a skateboard, and it's a, my last video, and you should go back and look for it. Because if you're into skating and you're into monsters and want to see some original uh, artwork on a skateboard, you need to go look at that, that video. So... If, you watch, if you're watching, you're seeing I put a whole lot of interesting things into this little xenomorph. Now I'm going with my ink washes. And one thing you're going to learn about me is I love my ink washes. Uh, I don't know why people don't use them all the time. I don't know why there's not a run at the ink market for people who are just use this stuff. But there, I don't think there is. Um, I was up at the, um, this is an interesting story, at the art store looking at ink. And I noticed they made different colored inks. I thought, well, why would they make different colored inks for? Because they already make watercolor paints. Then I looked above the, the ink section, and it was a bunch of calligraphy pens. 
And all of a sudden it dawned on me, that's for people who do calligraphy. So I did not spend five bucks for, uh, for each uh, of the inks. I'll spend five bucks for, for the black ink because that's awesome. Um, you know, ink's what they use in tattoos. Of course, they use colored too. I don't know what kind of uh, stuff they put in tattoo ink. Uh, hopefully, it's nothing that's going to cause your arm to fall off. So you, as you're watching this, I'm filling in uh, all this fun stuff. This is a blast. I, I, I sit here and I, I just zone out. Normally, I listen to my Alice in Chains or I listen to my Stone Temple Pilots while I'm doing this. Um, I never listen to country music. Even though when this was going on, my wife was playing country music in the background, and it really kind of disturbed me a little bit, and, and I think I made some mistakes because of it, because I couldn't concentrate on what I was doing, because I can't stand country music. But anyway, I have to listen to my rock and roll, because I'm a, I'm a metalhead. And if you know anything about me, and I know you don't, because this, this is the first time you've been here, um, I record my own music. I got like four CDs worth of music on YouTube and on Spotify. Uh, I might put a link on there. Uh, probably not, because you won't go look anyway. But uh, I've got 100 subscribers, 100 subscribers. What does that mean? That means I'm working my tail off, and at least, at least 100 people thought I was worth uh, giving a little bit of a thumbs up to. Not, not ringing the bell. I know I have one, at least one subscriber who rang the bell, because he always makes comments. His name's Justin, I think. Uh, if, if you see this, Justin, uh, give me a thumbs up and a nice comment. So I need more, more uh, Justins, in this, Justins in this world. <laughs> And where are we at here? We're putting in some a second layer of darks because I wanted this to have more than one value. I wanted to, you know, I, I thought about just going with a straight up um, one tone, about a 40% gray, but I think I needed some 60% gray really to kind of drive this thing home and to show you that um, practice, skill, and ability means something. I just did a big old uh, diatribe about AI art and how much I hate it and I, I think it's worthless and, and sucks. And if you use AI art to fire somebody, you should end up in art hell. And I truly believe that with all my heart because there's something to be done uh, with art in a, on a human level. Um, this picture was not my original picture. I stole it and I, 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 that's fine. But look at this. You can watch me visibly um, paint this. You know, it wasn't done by a computer. It wasn't done by an Apple II computer or nothing like that. It was done by me, 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 me. Uh, the original artwork, it may have been based on a photograph. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, somewhere in here, I, you may actually get to see the picture. Sometimes I accidentally put that in the frame. So uh, this is the part. Oh, this is the fun part. Fun, 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 fun. I got the white paint out, and I wanted him to look like he was puking his guts out, like he just bit somebody. So I got this white paint, and uh, remember Ash from the original Alien? He had white, milky blood. Well, this is white milky blood because he just bit Ash or one of Ash's cousins or something. And that just that adds to the picture and makes it worth 10 times more than it was before I added that white milky blood. And thank you for showing up and please ring the bell. <laughs>